We're here at Wicket 2012 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Nigel Hickson, who is Vice President for Europe for ICANN. Nigel, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to start off by talking about this conference. This conference has been attracting a lot of attention. ICANN is no stranger to controversy. Uh, you've got a new leadership. I wanted to find out for you if that's been introducing a, a new spirit of collaboration. Well, absolutely. I, I think a new leadership always uh, introduces new opportunities, uh, new ways of doing things. Fadi Jihadi, of course, has got an Arabic background. Uh, he's a, a global player in, in, in many ways, and he is very keen to engage ICANN on the global stage and uh, we're delighted to be at this ITU conference. He came and, and spoke here. What was the, the feedback from that? Yeah, I mean, very positive. I mean, it, it was a difficult decision to an extent. I mean, of course, ICANN is a, an organization in, involved in the internet governance space and uh, ITU has, has long traditions in terms of telecommunications. And of course, you know, we have different views on various things, but uh, we recognize each other as uh, in, in the work we do and therefore we decided uh, on the gracious invitation of Hamid and Torre that we ought to uh, come along and uh, em embrace the ITU. It's often been seen as a clash between the internet and the traditional telephone mm. community. Given that cohabitation is pretty much an inevitable outcome, uh, do you see a summit like this as uh, very much bringing together of both sides? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really see it as, as, as two sides. I mean, the, the ITU has got a fundamental responsibility for telecommunications, and the telecommunications layer is, is absolutely essential to, to you know, global, global connectivity. And, of course, the work that the ITU have done on spectrum and on development and on standards is... Is, is, is absolutely crucial. I can play in a slightly different field in terms of the domain name system, but we, we clearly need to cooperate and this, this conference is very important. The ITU Secretary General has been making a big push recently for greater multi-stakeholder partnership and involvement in events like these. Uh, do you think that uh, this is a positive development? Yes, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, clearly the uh, the involvement of all players in this space is, 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 is just crucial. I mean, governments alone, I mean, I, I worked for government, the UK government for 29 years and we never pretended we had all the answers. No government has all the answers and therefore it seems absolutely, you know, totally sensible to involve other players in your decision-making process. And I, I'm very glad that the ITU is, is going down that road. I mean, clearly, you know, there's some way to go, but uh, I think the involvement of, uh, of the business community and uh, I know uh, the Secretary General has been very warmly reaching out to civil society. I mean, they might not feel they have a full role, but I think this is a, a, a trend in the right direction. You've been recently involved in a big project involving top-level domain names. How's that been going for you? Yes, this is the uh, new generic top-level domain uh, program. So basically, at the moment, there's 22 uh, generic top-level domains, and uh, we're expanding that considerably. There were 1,930 applications for new generic top-level domains. In the, at the end of the day, when these start coming into being uh, sometime during next year, there probably won't be that many. But it, it will be a significant project. And it, it's significant, I think, you know, and I'm glad you asked the question because it's significant being here talking about this because the, the new program, especially in that it allows uh, names of Arabic script, names in uh, Russian script, in Cyrillic, in Indian script, Chinese script, is an ideal way to globalise the internet. Finally, what do you hope will be the outcome of this conference? I, I hope we reach a result. I think we need to reach a result. The ITRs 1988, come on, you know, this, the, you know, they're out of date. We need to update them. We need to be able to show that the ITU is, is, is relevant, that it, it's, it's fostering broadband access, that it's fostering competitive markets, that it's fostering security. I, I think there is a positive outcome of this. Nigel Higson, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you.